What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I paid tribute to the life of Princess. Then about a week later, putting her to rest due to an aggressive cancer. Forever loved, forever missed, never forgotten. Some people look at this and think it's just a box truck. But to me, it's way more than that. To me, this is my home. My sanctuary. My everything. The box is a part of my life and goes wherever I go. The box has taken Princess and I on quite an amazing journey across the country, through the Rockies to the Pacific Ocean. Through a forest of giant redwood trees in Northern California, to the beautiful landscape in Red Rock of the Southwest. We've been through different climates, elevations, and terrain. The box has definitely been tested throughout this trip. A few months after returning back to the East Coast, the box developed a P300 random multiple misfire code. I spent months trying to figure out the issue. I still drove the box due to the fact that it was my only form of transportation as well as my home. But I did so sparingly and kept it local for groceries, laundry, and family. Driving on a multiple misfire code is not good for the engine and can cause severe engine damage as well. So here we are today. Well, like four weeks before this video was posted. I decided to pull the engine. Not just for the P300 code, but also my rear main seal and my oil pan was also leaking as well. Around a year ago when I built the box, I replaced several things such as spark plugs, spark plug wires, distributor cap and rotor, PCV valve, fuel filter, radiator hoses and cap. I've removed my thermostat and I also replaced the starter and alternator, not because they were all bad, but just because I wanted new parts before our journey. I replaced a spider fuel injector harness a few months ago as well. It took the whole day and I mostly got the engine out. I got it out the rest of the way the next day on my lunch break. I was in a hurry to get the cylinder heads off so that I could inspect them and send them off to the machine shop. The cylinder heads definitely needed to be redone. There was a lot of carbon built up, especially around the valves. So you're probably thinking to yourself, why rebuild the engine? Why not replace it? And you would be right, but it all comes down to what is most cost effective. Some people have the skills to do a job like this, some don't. For my specific application, the costs are as follows. For a shop to replace the engine with a remanufactured one, would cost upwards of $6,000 or more. For a shop to replace it with a junkyard motor that has approximately 150 to 200,000 miles on it would cost about $3,000 or more. It would cost about $3,000 or more to have a shop rebuild the engine. And finally, for myself to rebuild the engine, it would cost approximately a thousand dollars in parts.
Once the engine was completely torn down to the block and the rotating assembly, I was able to further inspect everything to make sure that nothing was out of the ordinary. Fortunately for me, everything checked out okay. The cylinder walls, the pistons, the piston rings, the camshaft, the crankshaft, and the crankshaft bearings. So I cleaned everything off and started putting parts on it. I'm both fortunate and thankful that the shop that I work at let me work on my engine after hours. I installed a new timing chain and gears as well as a high volume oil pump. The cylinder heads returned with new valves, springs, and retainers as well as a valve job and new valve seats as well. New cylinder head bolts torqued down in sequence three different steps and brand new lifters. None of the push rods were bent and none of the rockers were damaged so I cleaned them all off and reinstalled them. Adjusting valves is a very tedious process. If done wrong, could lead to catastrophic engine damage. But don't get me wrong, and don't get discouraged. Anyone can do anything they put their mind to. Finally installing the valve covers. And lastly, the exhaust. And now the engine is ready to be reinstalled. Unfortunately, the next day, Princess was having some issues, so we needed to make an emergency visit to the vet. For more info, go check out the This Is For Princess video. Long story short, we got some unfortunate news about Princess's health. Aside from wanting to spend as much time as I could with Princess, I was waiting for my parents to come to where I was in order to spend time with her too, since she was such an impactful part of our lives. The only other mission I had was to get the box running again so Princess was happy and so that I was able to take her for one last car ride. Finally, the time has come. Even though I got the truck running, it still had a P300 misfire code. I would find out a few days later that the cause of all my issues was due to a distributor cap I replaced a year ago. Sadly, I couldn't give Princess one last car ride in the box. But the next day, Princess's last day, she seemed so seemingly happy that my father, my mother, and myself were all together with her. Princess and I thank every one of our subscribers and anybody who watches these videos for your love and support. And my family and I thank everybody for their thoughts in this difficult time. Princess will always be with me.
even if she is her favorite toy riding in her seat. Till next time, we're going for a car ride.